Hello friends. This tutorial was requested regarding how to have a character walk up the stairs in 3D Studio Max using Mixamo. Now here we are in Mixamo. Click Ascending Stairs and apply the animation to the character. Then click Download. I usually work in 24 frames per second. Click Download. Now here we are in 3D Studio Max. Now go to File, Import, and Import. Keep the settings the same and import the character. If you press play, you will see that the animation is very short. Now the first thing you want to do is to group the character. Make sure all of it's selected, then go to Group, then Group. Now click on Perspective View and select Right to change the view. This will simplify work in the animation. Now click on the character and go to Edit Clone. In the Clone option, click Copy and press OK. A second character has been created, but it is difficult to see because it's overlapping the first character. To be sure that the right character is selected, keep an eye on the modifier list title. Now in the timeline below, drag the keyframes so that the first keyframe matches where the last keyframe was. In this case, frame 33. Now you have to align the second character's first position to match the first character's last position. To do that, Go to Align on top and click on the first character. Now on the pop-up window, click on Current Object, click Center, and on Target Object, put Center and click OK. The character should match perfectly. If you play back, you will see that where the first character ends, the other begins. Now click on the second character and clone it. Move the keyframes to the last frame of the second character. In this case, frame 66. You'll see that it overlaps with the first character. Click the Align tool and have the third character's first position match that of the second character's last position. If you play it back, you will start to see the effect happening. Now to the final part. Click on the first character. Turn on Auto Key. On the last keyframe, hit the Set Key button. You'll see that it was changed in the timeline. Now move one frame forward. Click on the Scale key and scale the character down so it can no longer be seen. The gray mesh you see on the screen are only the bone handles and can be ignored as they are not rendered. Now click on the second character. Set a keyframe to the first key in the timeline. Then move back one frame and by using the scale to shrink the character down so it cannot be seen. Now go to the last key and set a keyframe there as well. Move it one frame forward and scale it down again so it can no longer be seen. Now click on the last character. Set a keyframe on the first key of the character. Then move one keyframe back. Now scale the character down until it can no longer be seen. Now to see the full effect, you can make a preview. Go to Tools, Preview, Create Preview Animation. 
Set the visual style to standard and click create. You can see that the character is going up the staircase. Now you can click back on the perspective view. You can preview the animation again to view the animation from a different angle. And that is one way how to use Mixamo to have a character walk up the stairs in 3D Studio Max. If you like this tutorial, please subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and there's more content coming your way.